Welcome back to Clep's Garage. Today is Father's Day and we're showcasing this Model A. What better way to showcase the Model A than on Father's Day? Anyhow, uh, salute to fathers near and far. If you're a father or a stepfather, caregiver, or even a mentor, you know what it's like to, to give guidance and uh, teach kids and have fun. So today we're going to have fun. We're going to drive this Model A around. This is one of my dailies. I actually drive this one quite a bit. Uh, and we'll we'll show this a little bit later in the video, go through it. But today is all about uh, Father's Day, and I'll show you a project, a father-son project we're working on, and we'll go for for driving this thing. Okay, so since this is Father's Day, I thought I'll dig out a father-son project. You might have noticed if you've been watching on our channel on episode 20 and 38, we built a front axle and a rear axle for a T. This is the frame for it. So we dug this out this morning and blasted it off. We've got to do a little welding and fixing. And so this is going to be Nash's Speedster, and we'll show you kind of what it's going to end up looking like. So this is a, a 1912 Model T Ford Speedster that we built for Ted. When he was 16, Nash is 16, I'm running behind, should have his done by now, but uh, that frame there is what this is going to look like, so we're going to do a, a YouTube video showing us putting Nash's speedster together, hopefully it'll look something similar to this, we can get it done, and then next summer we're going to take these on a cross country run and we'll, we'll show you how that goes. Alright, so like I said, this was uh, Ted's project, Ted's here, we're just going to have him come in and he'll tell you about this car. Hello everybody. So this is a 1912 Model T that me and dad built up out of parts. We didn't really have a car. Um, kind of like an adopted grandpa of mine, Bill Seberg. He had the parts and you, know, you brought them home in the back of the pickup truck and he had the frame and the rear axle, not all of the parts and some of the front axle. And nothing was together. No, it was all torn apart. He had this body too, but we didn't get that till later. And we started with the chassis parts. And we started on that when I was 12 years old, hence the number 12 here on the side. And it's also a 1912 Model T. And then throughout the course of, well, about four years, four Something and like a half that. years, Dad put it together and I did a little of the paint work and bought some of the parts. And uh, the seat we had done by someone else that done upholstery for a local shop in Covington. Everything else we pretty much did ourselves. Um, our friend Bill Seberg, he had the engine as well. We put that in there and uh, I put the gas tank and the trunk on and stained a little bit of the wood and painted some things. And when I was 15 and a half, we got it all pretty much done and we didn't have headlights. So we had to kind of run without headlights for a while. But when I was 15 and a half, we drove it from Ohio, where we live on State Route 36, all the way to Lincoln, Nebraska for the speed search trials and reunion at the Museum of American Speed, hosted by uh, Speedy Bill, Bill Smith, and his family, who he has since passed with his wife. And uh, it, was pretty, it was a pretty neat trip. And then he got jealous because <laughs> he was following us in the motorhome and tow vehicle with another T in that trailer while me and Mom, who was gracious enough to ride with me because I only had my learner's permit and didn't no, actually no, have a license. No, you had a cheater's permit. Yeah, cheater's permit, learner's permit, whatever you want to call it. So she rode with me here because she didn't want to drive the motor home and trailer because that's like about 50 foot of rig. And we drove to Nebraska in about five days and about 48 miles per hour, uh, 20 miles to the gallon, and didn't really rain on us at all. Yeah. Yeah, a little bit here and there, but. So two years later, we went back again and he drove his pickup truck and I drove this out there. A well, Model T pickup truck. Yeah, Model T Ford 1911 pickup truck. And then here next year in 2023, they're hosting again at the same location at the Museum of American Speed in Lincoln, Nebraska. And we're going to try and get my brother's car, Nash, is his name. We're going to get it done to look like this, and we are all going to drive out there. That's the plan. We'll see if that works out, and we'll, we'll record it and put it on YouTube. I'm sure that'll be interesting. 
and it'll be a fun trip. So I'm going to move this car. He's going to show you how this fires up and back it out. I'm going to I'm going to pull in the Model A, and we're going to talk about that. Okay, now that he's out of the way, we'll fire up this thing and get it out of here. So, uh, first thing you do, reach under here. There's a little gas switch. You turn it on, and your ignition switch is up here. You want to leave it off for right now. This is your uh, spark advance on this side. You bring it up to about almost all the way up, and then your throttle is over here. And then the emergency brake, put that on. So what we're going to do normally, I cold start it. It's already been running. What I'll do is ignition's off. I'll come up here, crank it, make sure you put your thumb on this side of the crank so you don't break your hand when it backfires. And I choke it three times on just a quarter turn. And we're going to just choke it twice because it's already been running. And normally, and then we're on camera so it might not work, but normally on three chokes and a flip of the ignition, it fires. But in this case, it didn't. Alright, so I'll talk a little bit about this. Uh, uh, this is a father-son project. My, my father and I were, put this together. Of course, he did more than I did, but still we had equal amount of work probably at the time it was all said and done. This is a 1930 Model A Ford Roadster, standard Roadster with deluxe lights that we're using for turn signal. That's the only thing that's the deluxe about it. I guess I gotta have the key on maybe to make them work. Anyhow, um, yeah. So anyhow, uh, story on this was my father and I went to an auction back in the early 90s. There was a Model A chassis there. I went for like $300. And I said, boy, I ought, to, I ought to build me a Roadster pickup truck because uh, down the road from us, there's Brookville Roadster was making brand new bodies and beds uh, for 2829 Roadster pickups. I thought that'd be neat. So he bought the frame and basically gave it to me to make something out of. I put it in my shop. About six months later, he come down. He says, you going to do anything with that frame? And I'm like, well, it takes time and money. And right now, I don't have any time. I don't really have the money. He says, well, you mind if I take it and make a Roadster? I'm like, don't you already have a Roadster? He says, well, yeah, but I want another one. <laughs> so, uh, anyhow, he started building this. And this does have a uh, Brookville Roadster body. So this is a brand new body that was built by Brookville Roadster. Um, you really can't tell any difference between this and the Ford body. Except for nowadays, the original four bodies are usually wavy. There's no waves in this body because it's all stamped brand new metal. Uh, basically, everything from the cow back is new. Everything's new. The, the hood and the fenders are, are old, original. The back ones are, are new, and the body's new, top's new, everything else is new. So this one here, we took the liberty of doing what's known as a little hot rodding. Nothing major. Um, kept stock, everything stock looking. And I go to great lengths to make stuff look stock, then try to double the horsepower. So this one here, he had bought a uh, a fully oil pressure oiled, yeah, a fully pressure fed oiled motor. So in other words, instead of the splice system, it had full pressure oil. And to make a long story short, I end up having to rebuild that motor because the the block was bad. So the motor's in now is a new version of that same setup with a lot more niceties on it. So I'll just, just briefly show you a couple of things we've done to this. Um, 
you Model A guys are going to notice right away. It's um, been converted to 12 volt negative ground. Model A's were 6 volt positive ground. And uh, this just, you can do more stuff with the, with the uh, 12 volt. I've got halogen headlights in this and bright tail lights. Uh, you're going to notice also that this has a pressurized radiator system. So I have an overflow tank and I'm, I'm running 7 pounds of pressure on the radiator so that I don't blow all the water out of the radiator when you're going down the road at uh, speeds over, say, 50 mile an hour. And so that's the, that's the quirks on this side. We'll go over to the other side. While he's walking around the front, you can see those halogen headlights. So you got high beam, low beam, and then of course parking lights. But you can really see with those. Those are, those are quite nice. So over here on this side, um, probably the main thing you're going to notice is it's got a, an oil filter. Now this is a, an aftermarket type filter you can get, but the aftermarket filter dumps all the oil onto the timing gear. This one I've modified and the oil goes back into the, the valve galley and that, there's a series of tubing in there that goes down to the main bearings. And so it pressurizes the main bearings and then the rod bearings. And it's all fed through the original Model A oil pump that's been modified. And it goes through the filter first. Uh, I'm running a Model B carburetor that's been modified. I'm running a Dan Price aluminum head. It's like a 6 to 1 compression. Stipe cam. And some few other little tricks that I'm running. Oh, I also have a, a harmonic balancer. That's a Bob Rents harmonic balancer. And I also have... A Bob Rents cut down flywheel with a 32 34 Ford V8 clutch. So, needless to say, and you'll see this here in a little bit in the video, this thing gets with the program. We can cruise 65 all day long with this thing, but it still looks like a stock Model A. All right, so now that you kind of know about the, uh, the car, uh, basically it's stock Model A Ford uh, with a few improvements. Let's, uh, let's take this thing to town and get some lunch, and then we're going to take it on a little drive and uh, call it a Father's Day thing.
drive, we're out here on the four lane, cruising along. You might notice my speedometer says 50, it's actually 10 mile an hour slow. We're actually cruising along at 60 with our stock, somewhat stock engine. desolate on a Sunday, not too many people up here. There's actually a Father's Day car show going out on at our local fairgrounds, put on the rolling, by the Rolling 50s Car Club that uh, does the car shows uptown here. Get a bite to eat. Well, that was a successful day. Drove the mile around, put a few miles on it. Got to run out there on the interstate. That was big fun. So, uh, Nate says he wants to go fishing. I think we're going to go get the boat out and uh, go fishing this evening. We're on the lake already. It's still Father's Day, and we're burning the evening. 
the evening hours here. So we'll do a little fishing and see what we can come up with tonight. Nash is using his new boat. Thanks, Harper. There you go. Oh, yeah. Little kitty. Oh, big kitty. See if he's talking to us. You say anything, buddy? No? Mm. All right, the catch of the night goes to Nash. He got a monster. Well, for where we're at, it's a monster. Go big kitty. Say goodbye, kitty. So remember, drive them if you got them. These dang new electric cars are so quiet, just run over everybody, you know. Electric car? Yeah. <laughs> Is it one Nash power? Yeah. Nice size fish. Whoopsie! <laughs> He wants to swim in the boat. Boy's making noises. He's coming over here to see me. Hi, buddy. You gonna talk this time? Not talking. Slippery little thing. You gonna launch him off the swim platform? Sure. This is how we catch and release. I'll let him go swimming. Okay, we got one talking. Hmm, is that all you're gonna say? <laughs> 